Let's begin today's presentation. So again, my name is Noah. I'm one of the educators with Shortcut Software. And today we're going to be looking at email and SMS messages in Shortcuts. How to set up a campaign, what exactly is it all about, why is it important for your business? So let's jump into the presentation. Now, we're not going to do a deep dive on setting up campaigns, configuring your settings, things like that. We have had those presentations a couple of weeks earlier. If you want to look up all of the specific details for the things I'm going to sort of glance over, if you were to go to our YouTube page, that's at Shortcuts USA, all one word. If you go to YouTube and you just look up Shortcuts USA, you'll actually see a classroom session on how to use shortcuts marketing. And in that one, I say very specifically, how do you configure your shortcut system, your point of sale system? How do you log in to the console or how do you log into the cloud to start configuring emails or text messages? I am going to show a little bit about how to set it up here, but today's presentation is more informational in scope. But if you already know that you need to send out a message and you need to know how to log in, go on to our YouTube page and look up the more specific detail, classroom sessions. If you don't have an account or if you're not sure what your account is, you can always reach out to your customer care rep or even to our support desk and see if we can retrieve your login details. But for those of you that have not used shortcuts marketing, whether it's text marketing or email marketing, uh, these are some of the basics. So how do you use it? How do you create a message, whether it's an email or a text, and even how you can give permission to your staff in case you want one of them, perhaps a manager or assistant manager, and they're a creative person and you want them to be able to send out those campaigns. So as with our other presentations, this is about 30 minutes. My microphone is on, we are recording. We will share a copy of this video with everybody and we will allow time for questions at the end of the session. If it's something pressing, if I'm on a slide and it's uh, related to the slide that we're on, you can go ahead and ask the question. We'll pause where we're at, but please, if you have any other questions, just save it for the end. So e-marketing. For those of you that have been using shortcuts for years or are brand new to shortcuts and really don't have any sort of campaign strategy in place, what exactly is e-marketing? What are the values for e-marketing if you're not already using it? Well, first off, just about every customer that has shortcuts has access to shortcuts marketing. It's built into our cloud system and it is by far the fastest way you can reach your customers. It's super easy to set up and start using, like literally. After today's presentation, you should be able to log into the cloud if you know your details and send out a message right away. It's very easy to track. And of course, the more you market your business, the more you build your loyalty among your customers and you build your brand. Not only that, because Shortcuts is adhering to a number of laws with regards to privacy that have been passed over text or email campaigns. The customers have the ability to opt themselves in or opt themselves out of any campaign. So you can actually have customers that prefer to get text confirmations for their appointments, but prefer to get email notices when it comes to marketing or promotions that you're working on so they can always set their own preferences. So why would you wanna use this? If you're not already using it, it is by far the best way to advertise your business. And it's replaced, of course, the old newspaper, magazine ads, and even billboards. So about 90% of all of your customers actually like to get emails from the businesses that they shop with. So imagine that if you go to the mall, if you go to a clothing store, of course you like to see coupons and promotions, but just for any business, if you go to a restaurant, in yesterday's case, I had one of my tires repaired. So of course, anytime there's a tire sale or some sort of special, I like to get notices. Not only that, 
you can personalize the messages. So it isn't like you're just spamming all of your customers with a note that says, hey, we have this event. You're personalizing the message. You're saying, dear Noah, dear James, dear Donna, we're having this special regarding a specific topic. So you can actually use shortcuts and find targeted demographics of your customers you'd like to reach out to. So if you have customers that have gone in and seen you for years to get a haircut, but they've never gotten color with you, you can actually tell shortcuts. I'd like to email clients that have gotten a haircut, but have never gotten a color. So you can absolutely personalize and customize those messages. And of course, once you start emailing these promotions, the customers have those coupons handy. They don't have to print them up anymore. And of course, the more you're marketing to your customers, the more specific, the more personal you are, the more leads you're going to generate. So again, if you're not already using either text or email marketing, you might wanna consider adopting that strategy. So of course, what are the advantages to text marketing over email? So if you have a special event coming up, or in the case of most of the salons we're working with, you know the exact date that you're going to reopen, and you just wanna send a text blast to your customers, you can absolutely set that up right away. And moving forwards in the future, if you have a seasonal event, a holiday, some sort of special promotion, of course, you can let them know via text. The other advantage to texting is using this feature can help curb the no-shows. So if somebody no-shows you, you can send a text message automatically from your shortcut system. When somebody's marked as a no-show, the customer will get a text and say, hey, um, we were hoping to see you today. Give us a call and let's have you reschedule. So you can automate a number of these campaigns, whether it's a happy birthday text, a no-show, an appointment reminder, we can actually set up marketing and the shortcut system so that it sends those messages automatically. So you don't have to wait for the end of the day, you don't have to wait for the weekend to push these messages out. So shortcuts actually combines both of those features, whether you're setting up an email or you're setting up a text campaign, it's shortcuts marketing. And again, it's built into our cloud. Most of our customers have access to this. The only ones that don't are the people that have been using an old, old, old version of shortcuts and they haven't upgraded their computer or upgraded their shortcuts. But for everybody else, you have access to shortcuts marketing. You can access it on the cloud so you don't even have to be at the salon or at the spa or at the barber shop to set up your campaigns. So it's easy to use, it's free if you already have a cloud or a console account, and well, free for the emails. A uh, text, you would actually have to sign up for a package or some sort of uh, tier package so that you could take advantage of text. But as far as emails go, the emails are free regardless of the number of your customers. So specifically, who gets a message? So whether you're in the US, whether you're in Canada, or anywhere else, oh, I'm gonna pause for a moment. Uh, Donna, I can show how to send, a, let's say a targeted text when I do the live demo. So I will show how to do that. So in shortcuts, of course, you know whether you're in the US or you're in Canada or even overseas, there have been a lot of laws passed with regards to customer privacy. So in the old days, when a customer came in, you could get a phone number, you can get an email, and of course you can market to them whenever you wanted. But with regards to these new laws, even if you get an email or a phone number, you are not permitted to message them unless the customer has given you permission to receive marketing. So in shortcuts, in your client card, there are now opt-in details. So a customer, again, the example is, when it comes to confirmations, the customer would prefer to get a text confirmation. 
But when it comes to advertising, they would prefer to get an email. So in their client card, you can change those settings. And when the customer receives either a confirmation or a marketing campaign, they can opt themselves out if they no longer wish to receive those. The other thing you can do is when you're adding new clients, you can set these options up. So you can ask a customer, would you like to get a confirmation? From time to time, we send out promotions. Would you like to receive our emails? And right away, every time you add a new customer, you can opt them into the correct settings. The other nice thing about this is you can clean up your database so you can eliminate any duplicates that you have. So before you start setting up multiple campaigns, we always advise that you start to merge your clients, especially if you've been using shortcuts for a number of years and you've never really taken the time to search and resolve for duplicates. We actually put together a presentation on how to merge customers. So whether you go to our learning center on our shortcuts webpage at shortcuts.net, or if you're on our YouTube channel, we actually made a special classroom session focused on merging clients. So make sure that you've opted in the correct customers, make sure that you've merged your clients so that you're optimizing who gets these messages. So when it comes to text or when it comes to emails, what sorts of campaigns are available? So we do have automated templates that you can start using right away. We've got a happy birthday message, which goes out on a client's birthday, if you have a new customer, once they check in, or sorry, once they check out, as long as they've opted in to get an email, you can send them a welcome email, perhaps to try to increase the odds that they're going to return for a second or third visit. If you have customers that haven't visited in a number of weeks, we can have a campaign that goes out automatically to say, we miss you, here's a link for our online booking page, or here's our number, Give us a call and let's make an appointment. It's time to see you again. So that's a different version. So if customers ignore the friendly reminder email, you can send a second email, which goes out perhaps two or three months later, and you're trying to capture a lost client by perhaps incentivizing them with a coupon. So more often than not, that's enough to get them back in the chair. If a client refers a new customer, you can send a thank you email every time somebody new gets referred to you. Again, if you have a no-show, they can send you can send a text or an email, and it will say, um, we missed your appointment today, let's have you reschedule. And of course, appointment acknowledgements. You have an appointment on such and such a date with such and such an employee. So those are the automated campaigns that are available in Shortcuts Marketing. And this goes for both text and email. You also have the ability to send one-off blasts. So if you have a promotion this weekend, or if you're announcing when you're going to reopen in a couple of weeks, you can set up that campaign. Say, I need you to send out this message in the middle of April to all of my customers and announce this information. So you can also send a message to a targeted list of customers. Uh, this is something that Donna was asking about. Can you send, let's say, a targeted list only to specific people? You can send it based on the demographics of your customers. Do I only want to send a message to male clients, female clients? Do I want to send a message to customers that have an appointment on a certain date or customers that are booked for a certain service and let them know, oh, my esthetician will not be available until May or until June. And you can send customers messages based on their preferred employees. So you have both options, a broad blast of messages to everybody or a targeted list. And again, that's for both emails and text. So just a reminder, in Shortcuts Marketing, it's free unlimited emails every month, regardless of the size of your database. 
if you decide to start using text, we do offer cost-effective SMS bundles. So if you have a few hundred messages that you like to text out, you can sign up for a smaller bundle. If you're a larger salon, you've been in the community for a number of years, and you have a rather large client base, you can sign up for one of our bundles that perhaps offers a few thousand messages. So we have different size bundles depending on your needs. And of course, you can access all of the marketing options from the cloud. You don't have to be at the salon. You don't have to, why is my phone going off? Sorry about that. You don't have to be at the salon. You can access this from your home computer, your office computer, wherever you need to log in. So let's actually do a live demo. So Donna was asking, how would you send a mass text to a certain client list? Let's actually go through the steps. So on my system, I'm going to bring up shortcuts. Now, in this case, I have a blank database on my system. So I don't have too many clients. I think I have one or two test clients, but I'm going to go through the steps. So I'll launch shortcuts. I'll give it a moment. <clears throat> and while shortcuts is launching, I'm going to go to my cloud page. So in this case, I was working most recently with one of our customers called Penny Lane, and I would go to the marketing button on the cloud page. And on the left side, I have several options. The top two options, message all clients or targeted campaign. Whether it's a text or an email, I choose which one of these two options. I'm going to go with targeted campaign. Now, the other options that I have, I'll go back for just a moment. Everything from appointment acknowledgement down, these are the automated campaigns. So if you want to set up an acknowledgement for either email or text, every time an appointment is made, this is where you would configure it. But I'll go back to targeted campaign. And I'm going to first give my campaign a name. So I'll perhaps call this my April campaign. I'll choose a send time. So the most popular send times, whether it's a text, whether it's an email, is about nine or 10 o'clock in the morning. That is when the majority of your customers are checking their messages, whether they're at home, school, or work. This is usually the first pause of the day. They're drinking their coffee, they get a break, they're gonna look at their, their mail. So we'll set it for 9 a.m. And then what day am I going to send this on? So perhaps tomorrow, Wednesday the 8th. So I have a name, I have a time, and I have a date. Now I tell shortcuts, is this an email campaign or is this a text campaign? So I'll go with text. So before I compose my message, I need to get a list of who specifically is going to get this message. So I'm going to go back to shortcuts. So here's my, again, my test database. And on the right side, I need to pull a marketing query. So if I go to tools, one of my options is marketing. Now, if you go to marketing on your computer, or if you go to the tool button on your computer and you don't see marketing, you may not have the appropriate level of permission. So if you're a receptionist and you're watching this presentation or a manager watching this presentation, some of the features under tools may be hidden for you. So just make sure you're logged in as an administrator. So under tools, marketing. Now the marketing window, it's divided into three rows, top, middle, bottom. On the top row, if I wanna tell shortcuts, I'd like to market to customers that have purchased a specific service or a number of services. And remember the example I gave earlier. Let's say you want customers that have gotten haircuts but have never gotten a hair color. So on the top row, I would go to the service button 
and I would go to perhaps, oh, this is my spa database that I'm using. So in this case, I'm going to go to customers that have gotten any one of these manicure services. So I'll tag these services and press done. So shortcut says, okay, I'll email customers that have gotten any one of these services. And I say, oh, I have an exception. In the middle row, I'm going to go to services for the middle row and say, yes, they have gotten a manicure, but they've never gotten a pedicure. So I'm going to make a special promotion for these people. So now Shortcuts knows, okay, they've gotten one of the services from the top, but they've never gotten one of the services from the bottom. So if I were to press compute at the bottom of the screen, Shortcuts will generate a list of customers I need to message. But the other things you can use this for, on the left side, on the bottom left corner, Shortcuts gives you the option to restrict the clients to all clients that have gotten these services or not, or a specific group of clients. Now, if I leave the top two portions blank, and instead, I just tell Shortcuts, I'm going to filter for specific clients, regardless of what service they have or have not gotten. You can absolutely do that. So on clients, And yes, we are starting this portion. Uh, Don is asking the question, will this work on the Shortcuts Cloud? Ye well, the steps that I'm doing here require you to have a connection to your Shortcuts point of sale. So you cannot pull a marketing query from the cloud, uh, not yet. That's perhaps a feature that's coming in the future. Uh, Debbie has a question. If a guest receives multiple services on the services done page, will they be marketed to multiple times in the same campaign? And uh, the question for that, Debbie, is no. The customer will only receive one copy of the message, regardless of how many specific services they've got. So, of course, that helps us prevent shortcuts from being marked as some sort of spam. And in this case, Donna says, I want to send a text to clients that have an appointment from April 14th to the end of the month and let them know we are closed until further notice. So let's see if we can do that. So in this case, we're moving this over. Now, I press the clients button. So these are the filters that I have here. I'm not necessarily going by a demographic, like preferred employee, a program or a club that they're in, an occupation or referral. Neither am I going by birthday, age, or gender. Clients who refer, new clients, products, services. So in this case, if I needed to market to clients that have an upcoming appointment from April to the end of the month, I do not necessarily have a demographic for that. This is more of customers that already have history, whether it's based on number of services or products that they've purchased or any other demographic that I've captured so far. There is a feature of Donna to cover specifically what you're asking for, but that's not in standard Shortcuts Marketing. That would actually be a feature in Shortcuts Marketing Elite. Uh, this was something that I talked about in last week's presentation. If you're interested in that, our customer care team, if you reach out to them, we can actually set up an account for you. And what you're talking about is a demographic specific to your campaign. So we would have to configure your account show you how to use that demographic. But in Elite, we can do the advanced things that Don is talking about. Does the customer have a future appointment? Yes. Is the appointment between this date and this date? Yes. If so, send them the message instead of sending everybody a message. So Donna 
Uh, short answer, we can do this, but it is not in shortcuts marketing. It is shortcuts marketing elite. Um, so the short answer is no, we cannot do this in shortcuts marketing, which is what I'm showing you, but we can do this in another version of our program. Okay. Uh, but even if you have to do it one by one. So for that, I'll show you a report that might help Donna, but in this case, it's limited to just what demographics we have. So in this case, I'm going back to just the example I was working on, a targeted list for specific customers. Uh, can you edit other campaigns and make it your own? Hmm. I'll take a look at that question in just a little bit. So if I press compute, so normally shortcuts will give me a list of customers that have had a manicure, but have not had a pedicure. And if I press the save button, then shortcuts will actually save me a list of these customers that I can email. So I would save it to my desktop and then I would go back to the cloud. Sorry, I just had to cough. I will show you the other question that you had, Donna, in just a second. So once I have my message, or once I have my list of clients in the cloud, I'm returning to my April campaign, my send time, my send date, and now I'm going to compose the message. So I can say, dear, and using insert field, I can insert the customer's first name. Then I'll write the message. You are invited to our pedicure weekend blowout. And perhaps we'll say save 50% on any pedicure, on any pedi this weekend. So now down at the bottom, I can press choose file and select the file that I saved in shortcuts. And if I want, I can send a test to myself so I can put in my cell number, take a look at the message, see how it looks, see how it's formatted. And if I'm happy with it, then on the bottom right corner, I can press activate. So then tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, everybody that had a manicure service at my spa but never had a pedicure service will receive the specific message. And of course, it will only go to customers that I have a cell phone for and that have opted in to receive text marketing. It's not just going to message everybody. But uh, Donna had a question. Can she change the details on these campaigns? So can she go into a happy birthday template, change the wording, change the details? Absolutely. For any template, you can change all of the wording that's in here. This is just placeholder text. You can customize it. However, here's the warning. This particular template is designed to send out nine o'clock in the morning on every day that a customer has a birthday. So of course, you don't want to just send the, the automated happy birthday message if you're announcing a special event. Instead, you just want to choose message all clients and then you can create a campaign, a new campaign, and you would set what's the particular send date and send time. The other ones go by a very specific clock. If you're looking at more flexibility on when the campaigns send, so if you want a, a happy birthday campaign, but instead of sending it exactly on their birthday, instead sending it one week before their birthday, that would be more of a case for Shortcuts Marketing Elite. So more advanced features are in the Elite version of the program. So that's something you have to sign up for. It's not free from the cloud. 
can you add a book online link to an SMS campaign? Uh, the answer for that would be no. The online booking links or the self check-in links, if you have a barbershop or a business that deals mostly with walk-in customers, is only available on the email campaigns. So there is actually an option if you're looking at our templates that says add book button. So book now. So this link will link automatically to your online booking page through shortcuts. This book now feature is not supported necessarily in a text campaign. Okay, <clears throat> Donna has another question. Instead of sending to a client that has an appointment, a confirmation text, can I send it to let them know we are closed? So in this case, Donna is asking, let's say the campaign, the appointment acknowledgement. So every time a customer makes an appointment, that's what this one's designed for. So you can set up the text, but this text is triggered whenever a customer makes an appointment. So this is for any new appointments that are made, they get this message. And you could say, hi, customer, I know you just made an appointment. Unfortunately, we're closed from this date to this date. You could absolutely change the wording. The other thing you can do is if you're using confirmation text through shortcuts. Now, this is completely different from marketing, the thing that I'm talking about right now. But in shortcuts, you do have the ability to send uh, a confirmation message, not an appointment acknowledgement. These are two completely different things. Appointment acknowledgements just go out whenever an appointment is made, and those are through the cloud. A confirmation message actually sends from the shortcut's point of sale, and this is to confirm that the customer is coming in tomorrow or the next day for their appointment. So you can change either of those messages, but for the confirmation message, you have to change it from the shortcut's point of sale. There is a setting specific to that. So if you set it one day before, two days before their appointment, the message can instead say, we know you are scheduled to come in tomorrow. However, we will be closed until the end of April. Please call to reschedule. You can absolutely do that but that has to be configured through the shortcuts point of sale. That's off topic, not necessarily what we're talking about, but you do have that feature. Uh, do we have confirmations text in the shortcuts cloud? No, I think that's something that our developers might be working on for the future. For now, we only support acknowledgements, appointment acknowledgements. That is a feature we get asked a lot about. Okay. I think that answers those questions. So let's go back to the presentation. So I know we veered a little bit off topic, but of course, like most of the people, there's a lot on your plate right now. But I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration on where you would go, what are a couple of the settings you would see, and then how you would activate your campaign. So if you just wanted to message everybody or a targeted list, you can do that in just a few moments. But if you're thinking of a longer term strategy, once you reopen, do you already have your appointment acknowledgements, your birthday campaigns, your referrals set up? If not, you might consider doing that. The more in contact you stay with your customers, the stronger you're building your brand, your identity with those clients. That relationship is important. And if you're not already using those free emails, you, you should absolutely start configuring those campaigns so that as soon as you reopen, then you know you're reaching out to your clients, you're staying in contact, and you're building lifelong partnerships with them. So last little bit, if you're in the cloud, if you're an administrator, you can actually give certain staff members permission to send campaigns on your behalf. 
So you might consider creating a custom role and say assistant managers are the only ones other than me that have the ability to configure campaigns in marketing. So you can take away their security permission so that they don't give anybody else permission to do this, but you can give them permission to create those campaigns. So that's something to think about, especially for the larger salons, if you're going on vacation, and I know this is an awkward time to go on vacation, but if you're away and you know that your manager can put something together on your behalf, that's peace of mind. So this is, or this has been, just a quick overview on shortcuts marketing. Again, we do offer more extensive, more detailed looks at how to set up a text or how to set up an email campaigns if you go through our video library. So you should now be familiar with a little bit about marketing, the text and email options that are available to you, and even how to give permission to your staff so that they can create campaigns on your behalf. So now if you have questions other than the ones that we've just talked about, or if you've, you're still writing down your notes, now would be a, a good time to bring up some of those other questions. And I'll give everybody a moment. And just so you know, so last week I was talking about Shortcuts Marketing Elite. So that's our much broader version of Shortcuts Marketing. It is subscription based, so you would have to sign up for that. But it gives you much more features, much more flexibility than the standard shortcuts marketing. So if you're very concerned about the ability to have uh, more access to graphics or your font sizes or demographics, something that is more akin to a service like MailChimp than the bare bones shortcuts marketing, then you might consider shortcuts marketing elite. Uh, Amit had a question. I missed how the customer list from point of sale could be transferred to the cloud. So I'll jump back to that. So in the point of sale, I'll generate a list of customers, whether it's based on what services they've gotten or it's a particular client list. So let's say I go to the clients button and I'm looking for a different type of customers. Perhaps I'm going to send an email only to my new customers, customers that have visited me the first three months of the year. So when I go to the clients button, on the right side, I can say, oops, restrict clients to clients. So on the left, I'll choose the client button. It looks like the little driver's license. And on the following pop-up, this always takes a moment because Shortcuts is going through my database. It says, am I looking for new clients? Yes, there is a checkbox on the right side. And it says, I'm looking for new clients from which date? Anybody that was new between January and the end of March. So those are the only people I want to, I want to send a message to. I'll press done, and then I'll press compute. When I press compute, this is where Shortcuts will give me a list of those customers. Uh, now, Amit, remember this is my demo database. I don't have any customers in here, but normally it would generate a list of clients, and then on the right side, I would press save. And Shortcuts says there's nobody to save. But normally when I do that, Shortcuts will let me save a text file. It'll even put a date stamp on it, and I can save it to my documents folder, or I can save it to my desktop. Once I save that file, I can press done and go back into the cloud. And once I'm in the cloud, once I'm in one of my targeted campaigns, I would go to either email or SMS, and as I built my campaign, there's a button at the bottom that says choose file. 
So when I press choose file, this is where I'll have to select that particular text document. And that's how the shortcuts marketing targeted list knows who specifically should get the message. So those should be the steps you follow. I'll go back to the presentation. Okay. Are there any other questions with regards to shortcuts marketing? And I know I've glossed over some of it. It's really, today's lesson is more of an introduction on shortcuts marketing, the standard shortcuts marketing that we offer. If you wanna go more in depth on how the features work, how to configure the shortcuts point of sale, how to configure the cloud, just go to our Learning Center page. We do have step-by-step -step instructions. If you're on our YouTube channel at Shortcuts USA, we also have classroom sessions, which focus specifically on how to set this up, how to search, and how to send out those messages. All right. So we'll go to the next slide. So if you're not using the cloud, if you're not using marketing, if you've never gotten a username or a password, let us know. You can call our support group. And of course, you can contact our customer success team, Customer Care USA, at shortcuts.net. You can even reach out to us on social media. So if you ask us a question on Instagram or on Facebook, we will get back to you. Now, if you have a super, super old version of shortcuts, chances are your computer needs to get upgraded before you can upgrade shortcuts. So if that's the reason you're not using marketing, you're not using the cloud, do consider investing in a computer. And I know now's the toughest of times, before the near future, do think of getting a new system so you can take advantage of all of the cloud features that Shortcuts offers. And it extends beyond marketing. We do have Shortcuts appointment book in the cloud. We do have online client information cards that you can start using. And of course, you can give your staff permission to use these online services. Uh, Donna has a question. She has Windows 7. Uh, yeah. Uh, at the minimum, Donna, you should have Windows 10 and always professional. Professional is the preferred version of Windows that you should be running. See if your system can support it. If not, think about getting a new computer. And again, go with Windows Pro. After a certain point, Microsoft is going to stop supporting older versions of Windows. Uh, 7 might already not be supported by Microsoft. So you might have to get Windows 10. And of course, at some point, Windows 10 is going to be obsolete. So they're going to have you move to whatever new version of Windows it is. But for right now, Windows 10 Pro is the version that is supported. Uh, if you get a new computer, you can call ahead of time and just schedule with the with our software group, with our uh, customer care team, or with our support, let them know that you need to transfer your shortcuts license from your old computer to your new computer. So that's a server transfer, a server upgrade. So do let us know, do keep us in the loop. And if you're not sure if the computer you're looking at meets the minimum requirements, you can let us know, you can contact our support or our customer care team, and we can give you the requirements. What are the minimum requirements? What would we advise? So absolutely let us know. And then when it's time to transfer, time to get you on the cloud, we can help you migrate all of that. Okay. If there are no other questions, I want to thank you all for attending today's presentation. We will have something else on Thursday. And if you think of anything after the fact, if you're watching this video after the fact, go ahead and reach out to us. We will get back to you. We'll give you an answer. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all on the next classroom session. Have a great day.